Happy September 25th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy was approached in the market by some potential new party members, but we decided instead to keep our old friends together, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The Dusty Doorstop. You discover a local shop in town where you can purchase supplies for your journey. I do not see any hidden icons. <laughs> um, we're going to do two things. Uh, one, what supplies might you need for the journey? It's an intellect roll. Um, and then we can either negotiate a discount or demand a discount. Okay. Let's see. The, these rolls are new. Usually we can just buy stuff, but... We're going to do a couple rolls here. What supplies might you need for the journey? Roll d20 plus intellect. We get a 10 plus 2 is 12. Uh, that's the middle result. Reminder, student. Uh, we do have Ivan, I believe, right? Who's a student, but that wouldn't get us. That wouldn't get us the best result. So here's. Here's the middle result. You must travel to the dark woods. A journey that takes an average of five days. Okay, it's telling us... Uh, I guess it's just telling us... Uh, we might want to buy meal rations. I think that's what it's telling us. Um, not that because we rolled, we have to go to the dark woods. Yeah, I think it's just... Yeah, if we'd failed, it would have said, you cannot recall any helpful information about the journey ahead to the dark woods. All right, I get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little slow today. All right, that's our that was our intelligence roll. Uh, the takeaway is um, the journey can take an average of five days. We currently have three meal rations, so we'll probably want to buy some more. Okay, two. We can either negotiate a discount or demand a discount. The demand is a reminder intimidating and is a strength roll. Ivy would be very good at that, but the calendar doesn't like intimidation, so... Um, yeah, you get a bonus if you have negative virtue. Uh, and I don't, I don't think Ivy would demand a discount anyway. She might try to persuade, so let's do that. Negotiate a discount, reminder persuasive. If your virtue is uh, more than six, gain a plus two bonus on this roll. So this is a charisma roll. We get a 12, plus two charisma is 14, uh, plus our two bonus is 16. That gets us almost the best result. If we could get two more points, we'd get the best result. This is charisma and um, and persuasive. We don't have anything that can help us with persuasion, but we do have the Baron who can help us with charisma. We also have a consumable that could help us. Let's see. Let's see if the Baron can the Baron get us two points or just one. The Baron, he can get us two points. Let's see. All right, Baron. Can you help us persuade the shopkeeper? We need a diamond that is greater than or equal to three. And we do not get it. And I think that counts. I don't remember if aces count as face cards. I'm going to say no. I think aces are low in this game. So... I think that's just a straight up fail and no damage done to the Baron. And so we take the second best result here. You get a 10% discount on your total purchases on this page. Round it up. All right, shop the dusty doorstop. Purchase any items you need for your journey. Everything is five ambers except for the meal rations or one amber. There are... There are no cleansing crystals, which is what removes curses. There's also no antidotes. That's a little strange. Well, the thing that was cursing us was the spirit of the Tree of Seasons. <laughs> and now it's gone, so maybe uh, maybe we don't have to worry about curses so much anymore. Um, how are we doing on all this stuff? We have, enough, we have 70 some amber, so we could just stock up on a lot of stuff here. Okay, I think we'll do it this way. Definitely going to buy five meal rations. That'll take us to eight. 
it's supposed to take us five days to get to the, what was it, dark woods. So that should be good. Unless we need meal rations to make it back as well, but who knows. Um, let's see. And then I'll just go down the list here. So combat tonic, I already have one. Warding ointment, I've got four <laughs> meal rations. Dragon's fire, we have zero. So let's buy at least one of those. Dragon's fire. Here, we'll use tally marks. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Brawnberry, we have none of those, so we'll add one of those. Brawnberry. And Nimble Cap, none of those, so we'll buy one of those. And Stout Seed, we actually have two, so we don't need any more of those. Health Potion, let's pick up another Health Potion. Health Potion. One of those. Foresight flower. We have none of those, so we'll get one of those. Foresight flower. This is riveting stuff, I know. <laughs> um, sage leaf. We'll buy one of those. And glamour stone. We have one. Okay, so that gets us at least one of everything. Um. Do we want to buy some more stuff? So we've spent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've spent 35 amber minus 10%. So we've spent 32 amber. Um, that's half of our amber. So I think we'll stop there. Is there anything we want more of? I'm tempted to buy another healing potion. Um, everything else is just kind of nice to have. But we have healing light. I think we'll stop there got 32 amber the way these things typically go we might have a chance to buy another pet or something so that is what we'll do so we've spent what did i say this adds up to 35 minus 10 percent is 32 amber and i will do the book the rest of the bookkeeping off camera so there we go <laughs> that my friends is september 25th so we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.